In other medicinal mushroom news, a paper titled In Vivo Production of Psilocybin in E. coli was published in the Metabolic Engineering Journal Elsevier. Scientists have engineered bacteria to produce psilocybin in their cells and poop it out. Now that's what I call some good shit. A ScienceAlert.com article by Michelle Starr reports a team of biochemists led by Andrew Jones and Alexandra Adams of Miami University used metabolic engineering to blow our minds. This is a biosynthesis process that relies on changing cells so they will produce compounds they don't naturally produce. One example of this is bioethanol. A popular bacterium for this process is Escherichia coli. Yes, that is how it is pronounced. E. coli is easy to engineer, prolific, well understood, and has a large and versatile array of genetic tools available for engineering. They introduce psilocybin producing genes from Psilocybe cubensis into the bacterium. Jones said, quote, we are taking the DNA from the mushroom that encodes its ability to make this product and putting it in E. coli. It's similar to the way you make beer through a fermentation process. We are effectively taking the technology that allows for scale and speed of production and applying it to our psilocybin producing E. coli. The E. coli can produce massive amounts of psilocybin, ultimately resulting in a fed batch fermentation study with a production teeter of 1.16 grams per liter of psilocybin. This is the highest psilocybin teeter achieved to date from a recombinant organism. Imagine that, a vat of fermented E. coli with the potency power to make 100 million people go interdimensional. For healing purposes, of course. Now let's take a quick break for a message from our sponsor. We'll be back before you can say schizostoma laceratum. 